when we arrived, we got a briefing at the Talo office in Blisa town. And then from there, we went to visit Kasameni 1 well, which is a, it's one of the wells at which extended well testing will take place. And while there, we're interested in knowing what extended or well testing means and any associated uh, problems or challenges uh, such as environmental uh, issues. From there, we drove out to Matchstone mm-hmm. Falls National Park to see a rig uh, at a place called Impio. There, they're drilling, they were drilling a well up to 560 meters. When we were there, they had 100 meters. Uh, to go and also we uh, we did talk to the drillers there we did also uh, encounter uh, environmentalists one from the Uganda Wildlife Authority and the other from the National Environmental Management Authority who had come to uh, look at how to treat the runoff Uh, they wanted to see uh, that the the water is drained properly uh, just in case it had been contaminated and given that this is a park, it's a very sensitive uh, area. So environmental questions were critical there, as well as safety issues. Uh, from there, we went to see some uh, seismic data collection. They were doing 3D seismic uh, measurements. Uh, while there, we saw many, many cables uh, all over the place, uh, running for uh, you know kilometers on end. And the question was, um, how do they maintain the integrity of these cables? Also, we're interested in how they compensate the people, uh, because uh, this affects their gardens, affects their, um, possibly affects their homes as well. So we're interested in those questions. From there, we um, moved on to uh, community projects that uh, Talo is undertaking uh, as part of their corporate social responsibility. Uh, the first one project we visited was uh, Bulisa Community Centre, uh, which is a $245,000 project. Talo is building the place and also uh, will provide uh, books, but beyond that, the district will have to manage the place. So we're interested in how the district will do that, whether they'll have the money. But we're also interested in who is employed there, who is the contractor, and you know whether there are any local people who have got jobs there. Yeah, from there we went to the health center four, and Belisa has only one of them, so it would appear that it's a crucial investment. That is a nine hundred and forty-five thousand dollar project. But Talo will not provide uh, the medical equipment. That will be up to the local authorities and the government. Uh, of Uganda. Of course, there, as at the community center, we are interested in questions of sustainability, given uh, the challenges that uh, the Ugandan health care system face. As somebody said, the Ugandan oil story is moving very fast. So it was important to do this tour as a basis to ask more questions, whether it's about the environment, the participation of local people and the rest of Ugandans, whether it's about uh, the players, given that Talo is, uh, is, has entered an agreement to bring in Total and bring in the Sinuk, and also, most especially, uh, given that the Albertin Rift is uh, home to lots of uh, varied uh, species. So it would appear that the environmental aspect is a very, very big aspect on top of all the other uh, issues. So we hope that the journalists will be able then to ask uh, educated questions to get uh, educated answers and uh, provide a comprehensive uh, account of what's going on uh, to the Ugandan public.